Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura B. Lara Valenzuela. Thank you guys so much for watching today. And welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, also, today in this video, as you guys can see by the thumbnail, as you guys can see in the um, description of this video, I am going to be doing not a review, just like a first impressions, basically um, a look using the Orgy Bundle Collection, you guys. I did order both of the palettes and they are both gorgeous. If you guys want to see how I got this look and what my thoughts are on this, just the whole bundle or whatever, because I do have separate thoughts on both of the palettes. Um, if you guys just want to see how I got this look, go ahead and keep watching. I will see you guys in the rest of this video. Okay, you guys, so I did get my Jeffree Star um, package in the mail and I'm so, so excited. So I did kind of like already get into it, but I kind of like wrapped everything I went ahead and wrapped everything back up the way it was so that you guys can see how it came packaged for the most part. I did kind of get into it, so please don't judge the packaging. The packaging was great. Um, nothing came broken. So it did come in this really pink box that's super big because I did order two different palettes. And then when I opened it, I just want to share with you guys how this came so that you guys can see if you guys haven't ordered from this brand before. It came with like this brown like paper on the top. And then um, let me try and carry this right here for you guys. So then you take off the paper and it came bundled like this. So as you guys can see, I did get the um, cremated collection and I also got the orgy collection. This is the bundle. This is just the palette. Um, as you guys know, I'm a sucker for palettes. It's just my thing. I love palettes. They get me so inspired and I just have to have them. I don't know why. I just do. Not with every palette, but the ones that do sucker me and I like fall in love. So they did come like this and let me show you guys the cremated one first because this is the one that came out before the orgy one. It did come really nice package. I just got into it you guys. I, I just got into my um, stuff. But um, it did have a sticker like this on it when it was nicely wrapped. And it does have like a little cremated eyeshadow palette and it has like a little urn on it. it is, like if you guys aren't into that, whatever, but I love that. And it did come with his own um, like a paper. I think it's so cute and it does say cremated on it. It has his logo and the little urn with the logo on it, which is really cool. Um, and this did come bubble wrapped, you guys. I just, like, I'm telling you guys, I got into it. I was super excited. Um, and then this is the palette and how it looks. I don't know if I have it. Do I have it upside down? There it goes. Okay, so this is how the palette does look. Super gorgeous, you guys. Packaging is everything to me. Like, you saw me on package with your packaging. I'm getting it. Like, to me, it's just how it is for the most part with makeup. I If I see something that looks pretty and it works, I'm in love. And I'll continue to purchase so um it is like marbleized says cremated you guys i know you guys have probably seen this before i'm sure there's reviews and stuff um but let me go ahead and get into how the palette looks so once you take it out of the sleeve it does still say cremated on this how gorgeous is this i know he had never done like palettes with his face on him before i love all his other packaging it is kind of bulky but i love it i think it's just something that you're paying it does have his face on it and it kind of just like disintegrates away which is super freaking cool like this packaging is everything to me um but yeah let me go ahead and stop talking as you guys can see i'm super excited about this um it does have a mirror and I'm going to fold it back so I'm not like blinding you guys. It does have a decently sized mirror. Um, and then it does come with this little like pamphlet on the front. So it doesn't like mess up any of the eyeshadows. And this is the color story of this eyeshadow palette, you guys. How gorgeous is that? Like for real, how gorgeous is that? It does have like the Jeffree Star logo in some of them an urn it does also have um like what are those mortuary cards called i don't know what they're called but i do know i just don't know right now um but this is how they look and honestly this is gorgeous to me i feel like this is such a gorgeous palette um it has so many beautiful colors in it and it really sold me the fact that there's a lot of neutral tones there's a lot of taupey colors and honestly these are colors that i actually am really into and i really like i know i do a lot of 
like brown eyes, pink, and stuff like that. But these colors are something that I honestly get excited for as well. And honestly, this is my vibe. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's a really good color store. It's something that I would use a lot. So yeah, that's that palette, you guys. I just want to share with you guys how it looks. I'm going to do a whole separate video on this palette if you guys want to see that. So the next palette that came in this box um, did come wrapped really, really good. Honestly, as you guys know, I did get into the packaging. I'm repeating that again. It didn't come like this. It was really, really nicely packaged. And it did have this sticker on the front that says Orgy on it with his logo. And it says Orgy Palette Bundle on the front of it. Just like the sticker that comes with it. And let me go ahead and open this up now that we're already on camera. And it did come with bubble wrap as well. Like the small one came bubble wrap and so did the big one. Um, let me go ahead and share with you guys the small one first. This is the packaging, and you guys, how freaking gorgeous is that? Like, this is amazing, and I am in love with this. The whole idea, the whole concept that this is an orgy of nudes. I mean, come on, you guys. It is gorgeous. You guys cannot lie that he comes out with the most dramatic shit ever, and I freaking love that about it. So, yeah, so this is the packaging. This is the back, and then when you do take this one out of the packaging let me go ahead and show you guys this is how it looks it has basically the same picture like the same print on the front and it's just in like this light pink color it says orgy mini orgy palette and then it has like his logo and the back does still continue with the picture of these amazing beautiful men that are in makeup and it is gorgeous you guys so when you open it it does have a little pamphlet and then it also has a mirror you guys and that's how that looks let me go ahead and show you the inside of this palette you guys it took everything for me not to swatch this when i keep opening like i literally opened it and stared at it and was like oh my gosh i can't wait to film with this so that is how this one looks it comes with nine shadow pans and they're pretty big and they all come stamped with his logo on the front which are gorgeous you guys I can't wait to see how this looks and I wasn't gonna get this but I wanted it because this collection to me was everything and I felt like this is something I can take with other palettes if I want to dip into any of these so it made it very like much like something that I actually like wanted to pick up I love the fact that if any of the other palettes that I have don't have any of these shades I can take one of those with this and I would be set so I do think that that does come in handy now let me go ahead and show you guys the orgy palette this is the packaging on the orgy palette you guys this is gorgeous it does come with that same kind of style of um, packaging except that it is in the letters this time and this is like a soft matte packaging I don't know if um, I didn't know that before I thought it was just like cardboard but it's actually like a really pretty soft matte um, packaging I don't know it feels really nice and soft it does have his logo and it has these orgy words on the front with the men in makeup and it just looks amazing like it's so pretty you guys on the top it does say Jeffrey um, what does it say Jeffree Star Cosmetics Orgy Eyeshadow Palette. And the back just tells you like information, I guess, on the palette. And I can't really read it because it's... Oh, it tells you the ingredients. You guys, this packaging is everything. How beautiful is this packaging? It has his like body. And as you guys can tell, it is like kind of raised above the... Um, I don't know if you guys can see that it's raised above um, the print is of the palette and then that is how that looks I have to show you guys every detail of this palette I feel like he puts so much work into his palettes and so much work into details on his packaging and I was so mad at myself that I've never ordered from him before but like I said I've tried to but everything that I've wanted so far has always been out of stock um, he's been doing really good with keeping things in stock lately though so I went ahead and like this was my chance so I ordered two things just in case they went out of stock um, but it does come with a huge mirror on the inside 
And then it also comes with this pamphlet. And you guys, I know a lot of people will think this is such a boring palette, but to me, this is very, very, like in my collection, um, it's a very big like necessity in my collection because I don't have a palette that is just nudes and no shimmers and it just has all of these different tones of nudes. Like this is amazing to me. The fact that he has so many shades of like white or cream tones and so many shades of like light pink cream tones and it just goes on from there to all of these different shades. And this is such a necessary palette in my collection because I feel like I always want to go for a brown smoky eye or a brown eye with a like gold glitter on the top or a brown eye with just anything. I feel like this is such a good palette to have in your collection. And I really want to show you guys how pretty these shades are. I don't know if my camera is going to do it any justice. But honestly, these shades are amazing. They are so beautiful. So now that I have shared the packaging and the palettes with you guys and everything, I'm going to go ahead and clear all this up and get into using the Orgy palette and the Orgy mini palette. Okay, guys, so the first shade that I do want to go into is the shade right here in the palette. And it is the shade name um, is top. It's like a soft brown color, which I think it's the perfect shade to start off with in the crease area. So I'm going in with the shade top on the um, crease area. The next one that I'm going to go into is in the shade bottom right here in the palette. And it's a little bit more cool toned than top was, or sorry, right here, top was. So top is here. This is the first one that we used. And now we're going to go into the shade bottom right here in the palette. So I'm just going to go into that shade with the same brush. I'm just going to continue to use this brush. That is the shade bottom um, and I feel like it blended out super easily. It's all like super nice. It's not patchy at all. Um, I feel like this blended out really good. So the next shade I wanted to go into is going to be Craving Chocolate. And honestly, this shade looks so yummy. It looks really, really rich. So the next shade we're going to be going into is this shade right here in the corner um, in the shade Craving Chocolate. I'm going to go ahead and start deepening up this outer crease and just kind of building the color up. And I'm using this brush right here. It's a Morphe brush. And I'm just starting right here in the crease. And I'm just going to start building my crease up a little bit and start deepening it. Okay, you guys, so that is the shade Craving Chocolate, and so far, I love this color. Very chocolatey for sure, and I don't know. I feel like it's such a good color, um, and this palette is already, like, you guys know, I fall in love with palettes so fast, 
but so far everything has blended out very beautifully i haven't seen any fallout honestly i don't see any fallout at all um i just put that there basically just for a barrier just in case and especially we're going to get into the glitter soon so for now um you know that's why i'm keeping it on there so booby trap is the next shade that we are going to be using Okay, you guys, so with the Morphe M562, which is a little bit more of a tapered blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the shade Booby Trap in the palette. And I just got a little bit of a smaller brush so I can really work it in there where I want it and it not to disperse everywhere. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just putting it in the outer crease area and, and building up this eye color. And you guys already that is very very pigmented all of these shades have been blending out really really good and they have been so pigmented So I'm going to go in with the JS6 brush and I'm going to take that into the shade Orgy right here in the palette. Alrighty, there we go. So I did add the shade Seduction to the brow bone just to brighten it up a little bit so it's not so stark and dark. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a cut crease so that we can get into the mini Orgy palette, you guys. Um, this does have, um, I do want to get into the mini Orgy palette, you guys, because this is a full shimmer um, shade. I think I want to use at least two to three different ones of these just to show you guys how they transition sometimes when i use shimmers i like to kind of like layer from light shimmer to like a deeper shimmer all the way to the end so that you guys can see different examples of the shimmer shades so it's not all just one shimmer shade that i'm using out of this palette so i think that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and create a cut crease and then i'll be back with you guys so that we can add on some of these shades Okay guys, so I already went ahead and created a cut crease as best that I could. Um, I did go ahead and use the eye primer um, from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Um, this is my favorite, especially for glitter or like anything like this. Um, any type of cut crease that I'm really gonna want it to stand out and pop. This is like the best thing that you can use. And that is like literally one of my favorites. So these are the shades that it has. It does have nine different shades. The first one being Glass Wet, the second one being Champagne Drip, then Gagging. On the second row, it's going to be Soaking Sun, Frozen Fire, and Bathhouse. The last row, Explicit, Foam Party, and um, Eiffel Tower. So the first one is going to be Gagging. I'm going to use this um, kind of like a flat shade of brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into gagging and just start packing that on the inner corner of the eye. And honestly, it's not that not that great I'm gonna try it with my finger now and see how that goes it's not very oh there it goes it's probably the brush I'm using honestly um it is one of the lighter ones 
So that is the shade Gagging and I just took that a little bit into the inner corner part. Yeah, I think I like this shade better with my finger, so I'm going to go ahead and go into it with my finger. Okay, you guys, so this is the completed look using the Jeffree Star Orgy Bundle, you guys. Honestly, I'm going to start with this palette first. This palette was amazing. It worked so well. I loved all of the shades. I feel like they all blended out really beautifully. None of them were patchy. Um, honestly, I'm so excited to continue to use this. This is something that I'm going to be um, gravitating towards a lot just because of all of the shades that are in here. And I feel like you can also create a cool tone brown look with this palette as well. So for me, this was definitely... A really really good palette I feel like it has a little bit of every kind of nude brown that you would want to go into and honestly for me this was so much worth the buy and I don't regret it at all I feel like this was a beautiful palette I did use a bunch of shades I think I used. let me see I used one two three um, four five different no six different shades in this palette which is pretty good. Um, I can't tell you for the rest of the eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to have to continue to play with this, but for the most part, I'm really excited to continue to use this and continue to have this in my collection. You guys already know I love the packaging, um, but for the most part, the quality of the eyeshadow is amazing. I had never used any um, Jeffree Star palettes before or anything of his brand, so I definitely fell in love with the formula. I feel like it's very smooth. Everything was very pigmented and blended out beautifully and it was super easy to blend out um so yes yeah, so I really really enjoyed using this palette and I feel like I can see a lot of people using this palette even for like bridal makeup and stuff like that it's something to have in your kit if you are a makeup artist this is perfect I love the fact that it doesn't have any shimmer shades I love the fact that they're all mattes and they're different tones of brown I know there's been other like somewhat nude palettes but this one to me was the one I wanted to invest my money in because I feel like this palette for me will take me so far and I feel like I would use this for everything so I definitely enjoyed this palette and I'm so so happy that I purchased it um I feel like everybody and their mom needs to go out and buy this this is amazing and I feel like everybody and their mom can use this I feel like it's such an easy palette to use something to create you can always get like the little Stila eye glitters or something you don't have to get this um, I feel like you can get the Stila eye glitters and create a nice beautiful shimmer on the lid you can use the um, Urban Decay liners and create something with that um, like the glitter liners and then um, just anything it doesn't have to be um, glittery either you can create it with one of these top shades which I was going to do an all matte look if you guys want to see an all matte look um, let me know in the comments below and I can do that for you guys I can create a totally different look with this palette for you guys something softer something more bold a uh, smoky eye because it does have this dark shade in here which is kind of like it's called glory hole and it's supposed to be it, it does have crazy names honestly after I said that I was like wait that's not normal um but um this shade right here you can create a nice black smoky eye with this palette alone this is going to look amazing for those smoky black eyes which is probably what I'm going to create with this um, palette in a future video um let me know if you guys want to see that but for the most part, I definitely fell in love with this palette, as I always do. You guys know I love palettes, but then again, I don't invest my money in palettes that I know I'm not going to like. So if it's something that I feel like I'm going to like, that's when I purchase. So I don't just buy everything, you guys, but this was very, very exciting for me. So I'm so happy that I purchased this, and I honestly feel like this is an amazing palette to have in a kit if you're a makeup artist I feel like it's a really good first palette to have because it has all of those new tones in them and anybody can create a brown smoky eye or anything like that so yeah so I really really enjoyed using this and I feel like this is I can't say enough good things about this palette this palette is beautiful from the packaging down to the formula everything um, with this palette really really amazed me and I will be purchasing from him more um, and now to go on to the mini palette you guys honestly like like I said if you guys seen in the clip 
um, it did crumble a little bit. I was kind of weirded out that it did that. I hadn't seen anything do that before. Um, this was the only shade that really crumbled a lot. And as you guys can see, even when I had first opened it, it looked a little crumbly. So I'm not sure whether it was like a mistake in the formula or what, but this one just tends to crumble. It's not, it doesn't show up well, if you guys can see, like it doesn't, have any pigment at all so I feel like with this um, palette I would have to use it with a setting spray or something I'm not sure for the other shades but for the ones that I use so far um, this one didn't have enough pigment this one right here was really good it just crumbled a little bit and then this one right here just completely crumbled and I felt like it didn't show off it didn't have enough payoff so um it's all right. I don't feel like you guys have to get this. I honestly wasn't going to get this one because I have so many glitter shades that I want, but I just wanted the whole bundle collection of the eyeshadows because I felt like this, um, I just wanted this actual whole bundle together and just to have it in my collection. But yeah, so if you guys are going to purchase, I would say definitely purchase this. And if you guys I don't know if you guys just want this you guys can get this as well if you guys know how to work with the shades um, I will be using both anyways I will continue to use them both because I am gonna get my money's worth out of these um, but yeah so far I mean I loved the products um, I have nothing bad to say I do have Beauty Creations um, spoiled eyelashes on I have um, this NYX lip liner in the shade nude beige on and then Wait, is it nude beige? No, not nude beige. So I have the next lip liner in the shade Mason or Masion or something like that. Mason, I don't know how to pronounce that. And then I also have um, bow and arrow and a little bit of this L'Oreal Sweet Tooth on the center. So I have bow and arrow like all over it. And then I put a little bit of Sweet Tooth from L'Oreal in the center of the lip just to like kind of cool it down a little bit because it was a little bit deep, which I actually really liked. I just wanted it to look a little bit like lighter in the center. Um, but yeah, um, those are my final thoughts on this palette. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys got something out of it. If you guys were wanting to purchase or were just a little bit interested in the palettes or how they performed, um, I hope that I showed that in this video. Let me know if you guys like this like chocolatey look let me know what you guys think about the look that i created and i will catch you guys on the next one bye